Welcome troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I've got for you today is Wukong, the mythic hero. Now I got him in a birthday llama. I missed out on him the first time around. And the main reason being is because he I just come back to playing the game. I had quite a long break from Save the World and I came back to playing the game and then this Wukong hero would come out. I watched a few reviews on him and they all said he's not worth getting, he's not worth being a mythic. But what I did find on him is he's kind of worth it in a way. Now, the thing, the reason the people are saying he's not worth it is because he's got this berserker kind of status here. Look, that's his, that's his status. So that's why they're saying he's not worth it because there are other heroes in the actual game who are already berserkers. They've got all the same stats. So all these perks are exactly the same. And also the bonus as well that he gives, this is pretty awesome, increases assault weapon damage by 24%. He's worth it. You know, he is kind of worth it. If you've not got the others that give that, then he's definitely worth it. I mean, that's kind of on par. If we look at the Master Grenadier Ramirez, do you know, that's what she gives. So that's where the mythic status comes from. The mythic Mythic status comes from his skin, and the mythic status comes from that bonus as well. So he's pretty decent. You know, he's good to have in attack in a go on in a support slot. So he's pretty decent overall. So let's quickly run down his perks. Then he's got advanced tactics, which we expect. If it's a perk that he's got, you know that you know you guys know about already. You know the soldier perk. I'm just going to skim over them. So shockwave we know about. Debilitating shots as well, pretty decent. Uh, you've also got on there survivalist. So killing an enemy with an ability or weapon recovers five base health per second over three seconds. I'm ne never sure about the actual worth of that skill. It seems okay, you know. I don't think he has any more survivability than some of the others. Clearly, you know, if you can kill the enemies around you quicker, then you're not going to need that. But you know, sometimes it does help. Now this is new, so explosive optimization reduces the energy cost of shockwave by 15. He's also got Warcry on there. He's got up close and personal, so Warcry applies three stacks of debilitating shots to nearby enemies. So that's pretty cool. You've also got leadership, so reduces the cooldown of Warcry by 30 seconds. So the theme I'm seeing so far is Warcry and Shockwave. So he's also got Hold Still, so replace Shockwave knockback with increased impact and 2.5 second enemy stun, which is pretty decent as well. He's also got Frag Grenade, so we're going to be using the double agent so that we can get multiple uh, multiple Frag Grenades thrown out as well. And you've also got Short Fuse, so cooldown is 8 seconds, refresh Shockwave when soldiers' shields break. And then you've got increases effectiveness of debilitating shots vulnerability by 9%, same as the Urban Assault there. So the legendary Monkey King who wants to get in close and fight regardless of the consequences. So he's definitely one for getting in there, which makes him, I think, is going to be a fun hero to use. Now, we've also got Master Grenadier Ramirez, because I still want that in, uh, assault weapon damage of 24% on there. And then we've got the double agent Evelyn as well to get the cluster bomb as well. So let's take him into a mission. Let's give him a playthrough and let's just see how Wukong stacks up in the actual game. All right, let's get to the house. Do you know what? We need to find loads of stuff as well. I've got to get the motel. I've got to get the truck stop. I need the birthday cake too, bro. I need that. We like cake though, don't we? We like a bit of cake, don't we? Yeah? Is that all the cakes? Oh, two of five found. Wow, okay. It's a lot of cake we still gotta find. We like cake. We like cake. I like cake though. Okay, there's one up that way. Let's go and get the cake. I like cake. Okay, we got that cake. Let's go and get another cake. Everybody loves cake. I love the cake. So there should be a cake down here. I wouldn't mind some enemies so we can test Wukong out. Oh, here it is. Here's the cake. I love the cake. Oh, good, and we've got enemies as well. Good. Love the tiger. Okay, so let's just take all these out, just because we like the tiger. I'm going for the headshots, and I'm not using Urban Assault, which is a little bit mad. Didn't finish that one off, did I? Okay, there you go. There you go. All right, I'm back. Whoa, okay, so let's try the shockwave out then. All right, that was good. Take you down. You down. Reload. <laughs> All right, good. And we need Sturdy all the time. This is the one that I didn't take down, I think. Yeah, look, she's on a little bit of health. Wow, she didn't. She did not want to leave this world. There you go. Right, and we've got two striker ACs with us, so let's mark these up. Cause we're good like that. Ooh, a chest. All right, so he definitely likes to get in there close, but and he's got the survivalist on there. All the elements do point to him getting in close, but. At the minute, I mean, to be honest, he's not really, uh, I've not really had a chance to test him out. So let's get in a little bit close. I mean, this guy's not going to stack up with the Urban Assault, Master Grenadier, but you know what? It looks awesome, and he's a viable main. Perfect. This is what we needed. Grenade! All right, so let's try out and just see how we get on with him. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, so this is an encampment then that we're going to do on our own just to see if he stacks up. 
Not looking great right now. Oh, it's, wow. Okay, that comes up quick. So the shockwave does come up quite fast. You see what I mean about survivalist though? He's not really surviving any longer than anybody else would in that scenario. I think it would be better if like survivalist kind of worked a little bit differently. Okay, still good. Still good. What we like for birthday cake? I like cake. Uh, all right. I think we're all out right now. Okay, we've got a nice easy atlas defense by the look of it. I think we've only got to get one. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's go and get to the atlases and have a look what's going off up there. Okay, so thanks for nothing, RNG. That is great. Do you know what I found in the last few games as well? People aren't building. So they're like, do you know, they're, they're here, but they kind of just expect the building bit to be done. Usually by me. Okay, so the RNG's been nice to us with this base, so we've built that one up there. So this is all we've got left to do, really. Pretty straightforward. Let's just put that box down. So, do you know what, like I said, you do miss the speed of the urban assault. Do you know, it would be nice if we could get that, uh, do you know, if we could get them headshots with the rate of fire. Because look, we're not, it's just not the same when it doesn't speed up. <laughs> Especially when you're used to playing, do you know, characters like that. It does kind of, it does make a big difference. But he's alright, you know, I guess we've got to get in with him. That's kind of, let's use him how he's meant to be used. So let's get in there. Okay, so we're getting into the thick of the actual action. All right, let's move in. There's a lot of these guys here. All right, I'm kind of waiting on the cooldown. There it is. We're taking damage, guys. Okay, we are taking a lot of damage, to be fair. I mean, how is that a survivalist? He just doesn't... He just doesn't survive over the top of the... Uh, over the top of the urban assault or anything else because the good thing is the other characters even the grenadier would actually get rid of the mobs around them making it easy are we really farming right now are we doing this okay let's pop war cry spectre would be better there so this is pretty easy right now i always like it when the rng is nice to you like this so we're gonna i'm gonna jump down i'm only on half health so this could be like the worst place ever. Could be. Alright, we're going to take advantage of that shockwave that he's got. Like I said, this guy's okay. He's, he's probably going to be more a support character for me. Than what he is an actual... Uh, than what he is an actual main. I don't think this guy... Would be a great main. He's a viable main. Birthday cake exploder. Give me cake! There we go. Oh, we got a Mavis here as well. Why did I put... Why did I just build that? All right. So we're just going to sit almost in the spawn point. A bit like a ninja. And we'll just sit in the spawn point and see what we can get. But we're doing okay. Feels like we are. He's got some good up-close area effects. Because you could always throw a grenade, you know, at the ground. Then you've got the ground and pound. You've also got... Um, you know, you've also got war cry as well, which you can pop for your friends, like so. <laughs> I wish the voice acting was a little bit more unique. You know, you do tend to find that the voice acting is not as unique as what it could be. Let's get in the middle there. Shockwave and a grenade. Not bad wave clear, actually. Do you know, better than what he probably gets credit for. Got Jess there using the obliterator. Good single shot weapon as well, if you guys haven't seen the uh, reviews on that. I'm sure I did one at some point. Look, I'm hitting him in the head and nothing happens. I kind of expect now the rate of fire. But I was after Wukong for a long time. And do you know what? If anything, look at how awesome he looks. He just looks absolutely wicked. So let's just keep on. So three minutes. Can we get a big, big wave now? We want to really put this guy to the test. I mean, obviously the headshots do more damage. Got more chance of crits and the usual stuff. Do you know what? The war cry seems to come up a lot. Which is great. I think you, what you kind of tend to do with Wukong is seek out, uh, you know, seek out spawn points almost. And kind of just get in there. It, it goes against the grain a little bit. But in a fun kind of way. You know, like, I'm not sure this is the safest place to be. <laughs> but it's definitely a load of fun being here. I know, like I said, I know you ninja players love the spawn points. Here we go, grenade in. Where's it? Where is it? Oh, there's two of them. That's why. And you. I've got you. I've got you. 
good. Okay, it's Pop Warcry for everyone else. So the shields are down now, so that means that my shockwave's up. So you've got to kind of watch him. He is kind of... He's a little bit more... His difficulty rating's probably a little bit higher than your average. Which I think we're probably going to see now. I know I should be using melee on this. Do you know what gets me as well? They all spread out. <laughs> Look at them all spreading out. Not making life easy at all for the woo. Woo! <gasps> Okay, guys, I think what I'll do as well, this tiger weapon that we've got here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a competition. So if you put woo into the ti into the comments, <laughs> so W and however many O's you want to put into there, how many O's you put in doesn't, like, increase your chances of winning the competition. But however many, uh, you know, however, if you put a woo in the comments, then I'm going to give away a tiger. <gasps> One of these, look, which if you use it on Urban Assault, is an absolute game changer. At range, anyway. If you're up close, probably go Silent Spectre. Lynx, Bobcat, all good weapons. But look. Look at that. Tears them up. Whoa, so we've not died yet. I feel like we're getting uh, we're getting flame grilled a little bit here. But it's good for taking down blasters. Alright, where are we taking these hits from? Another blaster there, look. So this is a tiger that we're going to give away. So just put woo into the comments for your chance to win a tiger. But look at this. So good. Oh, we've got a cowboy bob there. Do you know what as well? This is in Canny Valley. Why are we seeing all this green? I didn't even, I've just I've only just realized that. Grenade! I'm guessing the cities and things are the same. It's more the rural areas. But okay, I think that went well. But that was Wukong, guys, so not bad at all. We got the second highest combat score. As I said, we're not gonna keep up with Urban Assault. We're just we're just not. That's just not how, you know, I just don't think he's got the minerals, if you like, to actually do that. But Wukong is actually decent. I can't stop saying it in that way. Wukong. So, <laughs> Wukong has definitely got, you know, potential. So, he's decent. If you've already got a Berserker, unless you're a collector like me and you just want all the skins, then he's probably not, he's not fully worth it. But we got a good chest, so let's open up the loot and see what we've actually got from this. Okay, level 6 chest. Still chasing them level 7 chests. I know they exist. So we've got hero XP, some schematic XP, we've got some gold, and we've got some peeps. So we've got danger in the mist as well. So we've got a hundred reperk. Would love another zero on the end of that. But hey ho. Uh, got some more gold. And we've got some pure drops of rain, which I always need. Guys, massive thanks for you guys that offered to give it me in the Discord as well. I had a few people saying, Do you know, I've got loads of pure drops of rain, which is grand. The only difference is you can't drop pure drops of rain. I don't think. So we're not going to claim the road trip ticket because we're saving up for the birthday ones, which we're going to get pretty soon. So let me guys just quickly show you guys the tiger that we're giving away. So it is that one there. So let's have a quick look. So if you look on there, I've got 30% damage, 63 magazine size, element damage on there. It's got crit rating and damage combo. And after five headshots in a row, increases the range weapon damage by 30%. For 10 seconds so it's absolutely awesome all you've got to do is put woo down below feel free to put wukong whatever you want to write down there but all right then guys massive massive thanks for watching that was wukong let me know down below what you guys think of him as well have you guys got wukong do you use him more as a support hero or do you main wukong and if you do main him why would you know what's the main skills that attract you to him i would absolutely love to know but a massive thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out and i will catch you on the next video thanks for watching this guys Okay.